Here I'm back uh, after a long time that I didn't publish any content because I was up with a huge project that it takes me along to to process and this is about this beast here the Antarctic Racer uh, as some of you may know uh, this is uh, an exploration vehicle made in the States that was missing in the Atlantic. I don't remember now the year, you can Google it. But uh, I, I just read the story of this monster in, in, in one magazine and literally blow it my, my mind. And I challenged myself to do this model kit that I model it, then I prepare the 3D model to print and last I built and paint as I do with all my model kits but well I I, I I thought that was interesting to give you this feedback because well this is a long process I am going to, to sum up in this video with the, the three main steps of the project that is modeling, 3D printing, and building, okay? And just you to know, because here the scale doesn't help you to understand that this is a 55 long vehicle, so it's a huge monster. So many thanks, and hope you like this video. Well, uh, this project will start by seeking and googling references of this vehicle, starting for the blueprints of of the Atlantic Cruiser that we have this side view and the top view. With these two references, we are going to model this. This and also for the plane, I take as much as good references to to the model. Uh, also for the interior and obviously for the exterior of the car, I Google as much references I could. Also for the extra mm, add-ons and tools and things that are in the interior, but you will see that here there are real photographies of the vehicle including interior that you will see the tire this is the ship where they carry from the states to to the antarctic Here you have somehow the things that include there are included in the interior, the cabin things and so on. The engine room. And yeah, with this I'm going to model the beast. So let's go for modeling. With this top and side view would be enough to model and here I have already modeled all parts I'm not going to show you how the whole process because it would be a little bit boring but yes how I divided the work by for example let's say the body the top part of the vehicle if I go to the side view you will see that it's matching perfectly the, the side view of the blueprint and uh, 
now you can see also here that is all the parts of the interior already done also we have here the the cockpit mm, the cockpit proof here and this is how i divide it and the, 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 the more parts I had, the more complex it gets. So it is interesting to, to divide in different, let's say, layers. And we have also here the bottom of the vehicle. The, this bottom is I hide the higher part. You can see here the interior with all the furniture and, and so on. And well, the thing here is if I model, but thinking that, OK, all this part should be printed, it should be modeled in one specific way. And this specific way is with um, closed um let's say um polygons closed meshes without holes in it because the the idea is to print as a solid things but also divided because yes i need to paint for example you have here distinguish uh, or this fuse panel the idea is to have all these parts separated so i can paint i can paint them and easily um, before going to to building the model and also what I'm not showing here the plane okay here there are many details that at the end I didn't print because this chain here it's hard work to have these details and the idea is probably if I do but one one is printed with another elements but probably I don't because it's quite difficult and at the scale I'm planning to print this would be difficult to, to make this kind of details but I, tr I tried my best so yeah let's go for the printing part to the printer and going to check with G2 box all the supers that I are added by default the supers and the tips I'm going to accommodate to have better print session paint up I added uh, magnets here as you can see I just drilled these parts and also added here these two magnets the idea here is to put and retire easily the cabin the plane that it's the same you can put now it's a stick it and retire so I have just the body of the vehicle.
fact I used uh, UV glue and I'm going to show you how I apply here in the front as you can see I have already applied one and I'm going to apply this other one I use this Rebel UV super clever so I'm going to apply here just a little drop in the front I do like this around and that's it now I apply UV light to just dry in a few seconds and that's it this is the final effect for the front light in order to simulate all the glasses I use this clear plastic sheet to uh, simulate this glass of the windows in cabin and all windows place it in the vehicle itself the idea is to cut a rectangle of this clear sheet place it wherever you want to and stick with uh, clear uh, glue for in this case I'm using this rebel and with the help of uh, an old brush just take the glue and apply smoothly in the places around the plastic so it gets stuck and you get this thin glass in the windows Well, all parts are already painted and now it's time to assemble and put it all together. I'm going to start by adding parts that inside of the vehicle. that go inside the body of the vehicle now I'm going to focus on the body added all the elements here in the cockpit well we arrived at the end of this long journey that it takes me like more than two months by modeling by printing and now building this beast and well we have these four parts that are assemble it and now it's time to put all together and see the completed monster I'm going to put first of all the body with the interior that I double check it uh, before starting yeah that's it as you can see it's entering quite smooth ready and this is the cabina roof as I show you in the beginning there is these two magnets here that you can put and release this is the blowing thing here and same thing for the plane this icing of the cake and 
pad boot that is holding here quite well to manipulate and you can release that easily to, s to just see the vehicle and let's go for the final result